Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. In this tutorial I gonna show you how to create V-Ray proxy and a trick to decrease the file size that will be helpful for your workflow. And your viewport will be fast. Before start, please like the video and subscribe my channel. So here is 3ds Max V-Ray object. It's in different parts. First you have to attach it in one object. So select any part of it. In the modifier option. Open the attach list. Select all the objects. Click on attach. Now it's one object. Try before to create the proxy. Always make the pivot point on the bottom of the object. This is already on bottom. I show you how to bring it down. On the command panel. In hierarchy. Click on affect pivot only. Center to object. And you can easily adjust it. Now in the modifier. Use X form. Because sometime we scale up and scale down so it's create a problem. So just use this modifier and after that convert it editable poly. For to convert it into proxy. Right click on the viewport. Find the option V-Ray Mesh Exporter. If it not showing this option. Go to the customize in main bar. Select custom user interface. Click on quads. In category. Select V-Ray. Then select export the selected meshes to an external file. Drag it to the right side. Now right click. And click on V-Ray Mesh Export. Option will be open. In browser. Select the path for proxy. You can change the name from here. And just click automatically. Then OK. Now your object is convert into proxy. In modifier option. You can change the display of the object. One important thing. And I show you the before to save the file. Its size is around 51 megabytes. Now I'm creating a multiple object. Now going to save as. It's saving. Now you can see the file size it's around 1 MB. This will be very helpful for workflow.
In interactive, you can see proxies are working. Hope you will like this video. Please like and subscribe my channel for more informative videos. And leave the comment for any question. Thanks for watching.